I'm gonna show you how to take an A5100 and make it a vlog beast. What's going on guys, Josh here. I just wanted to stop and take and make a quick video showing you how I made my Sony A5100 a powerhouse when it comes to vlogging. Uh, of course, this is not going to be like your insane like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon setup, but this is going to be awesome for on the go. Uh, the All of the Orlando or the Florida stuff that I put up with my family was done majority with this if it wasn't with the GoPro. Uh, this is actually going to be a multi-series, uh, multi-video series you know, with each one of my setups so I can show you guys how exactly I run each setup. This is the main one that I run if I'm out on the go. And I want to show you how to put it on a small rig that is not made for it, uh, how to light it, how to put everything together. So let's just get right into it. The first thing is uh, this has terrible microphones. Uh, it picks up every wind sound that you can hear, that you can think of. Uh, so what I did is I actually made some small wind muffs for it. I found a tutorial on a different camera on how to do it. So I made these small little wind muffs to put on the camera. That way, when I'm out and I'm trying to capture sound and it's windy, at least it'll stop it a little bit. What I did is I went to Hobby Lobby or any arts and crafts store. I got some faux fur, basically fake fur, uh, fur pelts. And I just cut it down. I made a little pieces and then used Velcro on the back sides of each one, found where the microphones were and put them right on there. So it does substantially cut down the wind. If it's very, very windy, you can still kind of hear it come through every now and then, but it is a major upgrade from just having no, no wind muff whatsoever on it. I do have another setup that I run with an external uh, Zoom H1 and a shot, small shotgun mic on here, but it's, big and elaborate and takes extra work. I wanna make this as simple as I can for you guys. That way you can make a Sony A5100, uh, you know, a $500 camera from Best Buy work amazing for your vlogs. Uh, that's what I wanna get into right now. So that is the setup. This camera is awesome because it has the front facing camera or the front facing screen, sorry. That way you can actually see yourself when you're out shooting. But let's get into actually how I run it as a vlog setup and this is where this comes in. I know a ton of people have been asking, and I, even when I was looking, how can I get more attachments on this? Because there's no hot shoe mount on it. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna mount like a microphone if I wanted to run a microphone or a, you know, a, a light or anything. Basically this camera is how it is, what can you do? There is no small rig setup. Um, that is the actual company name. It's called Small Rig. Um, there is no small rig setup for an A5100. I actually emailed them, talked to someone, they don't make one. They basically said, hey, thanks for the info. We'll start looking into it. Uh, so I, you know, I asked, is there an alternative? What can I do in the meantime? They had no idea. So basically what I did is I went around and I looked and I found one that looked similar to it. This is made for the Sony a6500. It was, I honestly don't even remember, maybe 50 bucks online. Uh, I will have the links down below in the, in the description. Maybe $50, I can't really remember. Uh, but this is for the Sony a5100 and as you can see it's a little bit bigger than the or this sorry this is for the 6500 and as you can see it's a little bit bigger than the 5100 but it does it's it's essentially the exact same frame style and it will fit right down in here so let's just go ahead and mount it in there right now get my handy dandy uh, universal tool here aka a quarter And this does have a uh, quarter 20 on the bottom of it that you will need a flathead screwdriver or a quarter or something like that. And there you go. It is mounted right in there. Gives it a little bit more stability. Uh, sturdiness, I should say, not really stability. Uh, but it does allow you a little bit bigger of a grip. And the main focus of this is there are quarter 20 holes on this entire thing. So you can attach pretty much as much or as little as you want on this now and have a, you know, a beast basically. So that's what I'm going to get into. Uh, we'll go ahead and the next step that I do, cause this does add a little bit of weight. So you're not going to want to carry it around like this all day long in those Florida videos. And in most of my videos, I basically just run and go with just the camera. 
If I know that I'm gonna be out at nighttime and I know I'm gonna need a light or some type of lighting, I throw the small rig on it and then go with this setup. So I got the Gorilla Tripod here, which is the SLR Zoom Gorilla Tripod, Gorilla Pod. Uh, that I run on it. Basically, you just take one of these six million holes on the bottom of it, find one for a quarter 20, because there are a couple three eighths, I think is the other setup. Um, just screw it in there, like schwa. You got your Gorilla Pod mount, and now you got your Gorilla Pod with the A5100 and the small, small rig on it. So this is ready to go, run and gun style. Uh, it's it's set up, you know, you can get it out there. The camera is, uh, it's just got, I should have said, it's just got the kit lens on it. I just run with the kit lens, which is a 14 to, uh, 16 to 50, my bad, 16 to 50. And uh, yeah, you can just get it out there and talk right into it, flip your screen up. And you got this set up, you're ready to go. You can see yourself, you can talk, you can, you know, focus around and the good thing about the Sony 5100 as compared to the 6300 and 6500 they don't have the flip up screen like this one does uh, so that at least lets you see now the small rig and the wind muffs do block it kind of uh, about the first maybe quarter of it uh, at the bottom and can't really see but it's okay it's enough to be able to monitor yourself and not look like you're looking into a secondary field monitor type situation on the side of it so i don't mind it it's enough but let's say like i said i use this when i'm going out at nighttime when i know that i'm going to be vlogging in the dark and i know that i'm going to need some type of lighting so that's where this comes in this is the best light i have ever bought for any type of small camera setup I've tried quite a few flat panels and small lighting and stuff like that. This thing is amazing. This is the Aperture ALM9. I do have a review just of this thing, but this is where it's at. And basically, if I know that I'm gonna be out at nighttime, I take the bracket with one of these quarter 20 to quarter 20s on the bottom of it. I find a hole that I feel like it's gonna be far enough away from that screen, which for me is the end one. Um, put it right on there. Screw that in, and now you have a light built right onto your camera setup. So you can turn that beast on, turn it around, and make sure the brightness is up to where you need it, depending on the darkness in where you're at. This thing is awesome, the AL M9. I absolutely suggest everybody buy one, mainly because you don't even have to have it in the bracket if you don't want to, and I'll discuss that in my other videos. But you can legit just place this wherever you want. Let me turn my ring light off here so you guys can see the exact brightness of this thing. So my ring light is off now, and as you can see, this thing is awesome for when you're talking directly to a camera when you're set up just like this. And I just absolutely love the thing. It works great on this camera. You can, you know, place it here, 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 make a scary movie if you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is great. Let me turn my ring light back up here. So like I said, this is awesome. I suggest everybody buy one. Like I said, links are in description for everything in this setup. But this is the full setup for my vlog A5100 camera running gun monster powerhouse for under under eight hundred dollars, I'd say. Uh, five fifty, fifty six, seven. Yeah, this is about eight hundred dollars, maybe just right around that. Everything can be bought at Amazon. Everything actually is also available at Best Buy because you're going to pay a little bit more unless you show them your Amazon app. But I have links in the description if you want to buy any of this Sony A5100 with the small rig, the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom, and the Aperture ALM9. I hope you guys like this setup. If you have any questions, make sure you ask me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave some comments, and make sure you check out my other two vlog setups, which is my uh, Hero 6 setup and my main one, which is my Panasonic G7 with the 
uh, you know, Rode Video Mic Pro and all of that. But this is the Sony A5100 small rig SLR zoom and the Aperture ALM9. Thank you guys for checking it out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.